All right, now we're taking you back off the planet. We're heading to <laughs> Mars and all for all things ketchup. <laughs> yes, Heinz has teamed up with scientists to grow tomatoes in a harsh Mars-like environment. We here at Fox Weather are obsessed with this story. They're hoping to create the Mars edition of ketchup. Joining us now to explain scientists with the Aldrin Space Institute, Dr. Andrew Palmer and former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino. Thank you guys so much for joining us uh, to talk all things ketchup. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right. Hey, Dr. Palmer, how did you manage to grow tomatoes in a climate as harsh as the one on Mars? I know on Mars, what temperatures can get real cold and real hot, right? Yeah, so actually the average temperature on Mars is about minus 60 degrees uh, Celsius. So it's uh, really cold. Uh, and, you know, the atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide and it's not very dense. Uh, so, you know, in reality, we're going to be living inside of um, artificial habitats. And actually, that's one of the things that we set out to do in this project. And you can see us in that video kind of walking around what we call the Red House, so our Martian greenhouse. Uh, and, you know, it was really an effort to make a facility facility that was completely temperature controlled. We had complete control over the day night cycles. So we controlled the lighting, uh, the fruit that we grew, the tomatoes we grew for Heinz, they'd never seen the light of day, uh, like sunlight until we harvested them and, and handed them off. So they were grown completely under artificial lighting. Uh, and then the real star of the show was the, the simulants for the surface of Mars. So the surface of Mars, the, what we call the regolith, the, the soil there, is really inhospitable. It's very challenging to grow. It's not a lot of nutrients for plants, and um, it's got a lot of salt. So it's a real, real beast to, to grow in. Um, and so that was our real challenge. Okay, and then we have a question from Mike to bring you on this discussion. Ketchup, of all things, one of the most lovely condiments. How important is it to actually have ketchup up in space? Well, I, I guess it depends on the astronaut. Uh, for me, I, I enjoy ketchup on the, on Earth, and I certainly enjoyed having it in space. And, and food is more than nutrition. It's also a reminder of the things you miss at home, uh, and that's going to be a big deal uh, going to Mars. But I think really what the project is about is, is not just uh, to help a couple astronauts enjoy their food, but also to learn how to grow plants in soil that is really inhospitable for plant growth. And there are many areas around our world where it's difficult to grow plants, to, difficult to grow food. So I think by doing this research that, mm -hmm. uh, that Andrew has done, Dr. Palmer has done with his team, they're not just helping uh, astronauts enjoy their food and remind them of home, but also I think helping places around the world where it's difficult to grow food to be able to do so better. Yeah, you guys have a better green thumb than me. Sheesh, I don't think I've ever successfully grown a tomato on mm. Earth, let alone Mars. <laughs> so uh, you're beating me there. All right, we want to play a little game with you guys. It's called Ketchup Controversies. <laughs> okay, listen, in this game, mm. we'll give you some controversial food pairings involving ketchup, mm. and you'll tell us whether you're a fan. And if three of the four of all of us say ketchup mm -hmm. should go on that specific food, it'll get the Fox Weather Wild <laughs> stamp of approval. Do you guys get all that? I'm good. All right. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's uh, start with Dr. Palmer. We're going to start with the American classic. Should uh, a hot dog get ketchup? What do you think, Mike? You said Dr. Palmer, but you asked Mike. Who do you want? My bad. Go, ahead, doc, go ahead, Dr. Palmer. <laughs> I, I'm a ketchup and mustard man, so yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you, Mike. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I Marissa, say yes. That's four thumbs up. Boom. Done. That gets the Fox Weather Wild stamp of approval. That's a no-brainer. That's like a no-duh question. Now, this yeah. is where it gets a little bit interesting. This is what had our whole newsroom a buzz earlier. So, all right, Dr. Palmer, do <laughs> eggs, do eggs get ketchup? Yeah, yeah, they can get ketchup. <laughs> Wait That's a second. Yes. Wait a second. You're not convincing <laughs> me. It, it's a sometimes ketchup. A okay. Sometimes <laughs> so ketchup. it's like an eh. All right, what do you think, Mike? I cannot eat eggs without ketchup. Yes, definitely. Oh, okay. this is funny. I okay. say thumbs down. Give me some hot sauce. <laughs> I say thumbs down, too. I don't think this one makes the cut here. I Very don't think... controversial. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Palmer's eh isn't, it wasn't a yeah. So yeah. Uh, there you go. All right, last one. This is extremely controversial. All right, gentlemen, what do you think? Does, uh, does a steak get ketchup? Yes or no? Go ahead, Dr. Palmer. Oh. 
I'm going to say no. <laughs> okay, Mike, what do you think? No, I think there's better, better suited products like steak sauce for that. Agreed. Get some A1 on there. There Thumbs you go. Down. No and stamp of approval yeah. here. Wah, wah. Of course, if you're in space, I'm sure you'll take whatever you can get your hands on, right? <laughs> well, I know you, you want to eat well, though, so you, you're, not, you're a little finicky, too. That's true. <laughs> All right, hey, listen, thank you both for joining us and playing along. We appreciate it. That's the Aldrin Space Institute's Dr. Andrew Palmer mm -hmm. and former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino.